Howdy, howdy folks! A-Train here with you for another episode of Let's Play NIMBY Rails. Let's see if this is still picking up, and it looks like it is. Hooray and huzzah for me. You're going to find a way to improve the quality of this uh, broadcast. So, um, welcome back to NIMBY Rails. We've gotten away from the tutorial stuff. Uh, let me give you a quick uh, heads up on what we're doing here. NIMBY Rails is available on Steam now. Link in the description below. Uh, make sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate you being here and being part of the uh, program. We're going to do about an hour today. we will go through some stuff I've been working on with you. And um, hope you'll uh, maybe even learn something. Which is uh, always nice, I think. Alright, let me get this linked up over here. Make sure that's muted and that goes live. And then I'll be able to see you guys in the chat. Awesome. Cool. All right. So um, let me know if the ambient sounds are too loud. Because this is a something I'm just um, just trying. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to have some noise. Because the game doesn't have sound. Uh, also make sure to follow us on Twitch at A underscore train underscore games. On Discord at A-Trainspace Games, where you can see my Steam library, I make game requests, discuss this and other games, and see my Tower 3D Pro library, and your donations are greatly welcome and appreciated at paypal.me slash A-Traingames. Alright, so enough of the Willy Foo Foo stuff, let's kick over to the gameplay side. Alright, we're still getting noise from that, and we're good here. Okay, awesome. So, if someone is available and awake in chat, please uh, holla and let me know <coughs> that... Uh, you can hear the sound of trains rolling by in the background, which I think is a nice little touch. <laughs> so, all right. The Tokyo rail system. Tokyo, the most populous city in the world. Uh, okay, maybe Mexico City is, maybe New York City is. I'm going with Tokyo. Uh, but it's really kind of an administrative area of lots of different little wards, just like New York City's like lots of different boroughs and what have you, right? So, um, I spent time in Tokyo when I was in the Air Force. They have one of the most amazing, if not the most amazing rail system in the world to move millions of people around a day. Shinjuku, Shinjuku Station, which is located right here on the northwest part of Tokyo. Central Tokyo is right over here. This is Edojo, Edo Castle. Okay? Tokyo Station is right here. All right? And that's the big station the bullet train's running in and out of and what have you. And then there's a loop that goes all the way around, which is the Yamanote line. That's this line with the green trains on it. And it comes up to here. I've only built it to Shinjuku, and I've built it up to Ueno, which is over here. I've still got to build it up and around the north side, which goes up more or less kind of there-ish, what I'm pointing out. So that's the loop. Now, Shinjuku is, is connected more directly with the Chuo line, which comes out of Tokyo Station. It's an express line. It stops at Kanda Station. Stops at Ochanomizu Station. Uh, I think it stops at Yotsuya. It doesn't stop at Yotsuya. It stops at Yotsuya Station. And then it goes rolling into Shinjuku Station, which Shinjuku has a ton of tracks. Now, in the links in the description below, uh, I've put three links to various webcams that are around the area here. One of them, the first, is uh, between Hanmamatsu Sucho Station and Tamachi Station. It's right about here looking it, it's right over maybe here looking this way towards shibuara konan ward office because you can see this curve track coming in that's the tokyo monorail okay and you'll see the bullet trains coming along through here and um what have you okay so that's uh where the first webcam is now the second one is in akebane and that's a little more technical i think I'm not sure if that's even indicated on this map. Harkawa Asaku. I think the line turns here, goes this way. There's Tabata. Uh, I think this is the Shinkansen Depot. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, somewhere up here is Ak Ah Akabani. Okay, the 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 uh, the the um. Second camera somewhere around here, looking this way, looking north. Okay, the third one, which is the one you're actually listening to, 
is in Shinjuku, and it's located right here over top of, let's see, oh wait, it's, uh, it's right here. All right, so there's a building on this corner, and you can look down and see this alleyway, and you see Unica Vision, which I don't think is on, because I believe that building got sold or shut down or something. So there's nothing playing in the Unica building. And there is the Narita Express passing by, which is super cool. Uh, anyway, so that's what you're hearing in the background, is the sound from this web camera as it looks south towards Shinjuku Station. And I haven't built all the tracks coming out of Shinjuku yet. And then there's the Unica Vision, which usually has music videos or something playing on it. But apparently it doesn't anymore. It sucks. But needless to say, Shinjuku Station is the busiest rail terminus in the world. It sees a throughput of over like 2.1 million people per day. What just happened? There you go. Don't drop on me. Let me just check my other stuff. I want to make sure. Uh, just let me know if you see any stuff blurping out or um, going wonky, drop frame, stuff like that. Just let me know. Also, let me know if the, uh, if the output, if that sound is too loud, I can drop it down. All right. So, NIMBY Rails. Uh, we did a, a tutorial on a Let's Play on this uh, a few days ago, and I've been dinking around with this now for a couple of days. And I'm running it really slow right now. We started with the Ginza subway line, which runs from Asakusa Station over here to Gueno Station, underground, uh, Suhirocho, which is on the edge of Akihabara Station, which kind of sucks because they, they tie up the catchment areas for each other. And then it runs it cut it runs under the Chuo Dori, which is the street, um, the name of the street that it runs under. And then there's a station here at uh, at Kanda Station, and it runs down here. And there's a station at Nihonbashi Station, which is closest to Tokyo Station. Then there's another. I think there was an there's another one in between, but I actually took it out because I didn't want another station glommed into this area. Uh, and then we go down to Ginza Station, which Ginza is the shopping district, kind of in and around this area. There are lots of places to go. It's a great place to walk around and stuff, especially during the holidays. Uh, there's um, some really cool buildings. There's cool buildings all over Tokyo. But um, there's a particular building, I don't know, somewhere around here or here. Probably not the post office. It might be here. It's a department store. And it has a um, like a clock. And uh, I don't know. I'm trying to remember. So doors open up and animated figures come out at like the top of the hour and they dance around and they do their thing and whatever and it's really cool all right so uh we go to ginza station and we take a hard uh right turn at albuquerque um to shimbashi station which is a uh, transfer point from the ginza line to the uh, japan rail main lines then we start making a little bit of a run we go over here to this station we come around this corner, we go over here to this station, we go down here to Shibuya Station. And that's the end of the line. That's Ginza Line. And these, some of these rail lines are like 100 years old, if not longer, older, in Tokyo. So we built the Ginza Line, and then I started building the uh, Yamanote and Taihin Kohoku lines, uh, Keihin Tohoku, which they currently run from Ueno Station, there you can see a Keihin Tohoku train coming down, uh, to Akihabara Station. These are local service trains. Then they come into Kanda Station and they stop. Then they stop at Tokyo Station. Then Yurakucho, Shimbashi, Hamamatsucho, Tamachi. Then they run through the big rail yard here at Shinagawa, which is where I've got um, some of the uh, depots set up for some of the trains. They come into Shinagawa Station, which is a huge station. And then the um, Yamanote line takes a right turn here and goes to Osaki Station as it's making its loop. The Kehen Tohoku line actually continues all the way south which one of the trains is full? Holy crap! I gotta put more trains on. These trains are full, and that's awesome. <laughs> that means tons of money. This train's not so full. But that train's full. <laughs> and full trains mean lots of money. Um, now I've got the Keihan Tohoku line running down to Umachi Station, and previously I had it stopping at Omori Station. Well, over the last couple, or yesterday, I built the line all the way down to um, Yokohama. Now, you know, you may be familiar with Kawasaki motorcycles. So, uh, as we come out of Omori Station, we come down to Kamata Station. Over here is uh, uh, Haneda Airport. And then we continue down to Kawasaki.
station. Okay. Um, that's a pretty big station. Then we go to Surumi Station, which has the Surumi line, this little short line over here, which I built, which is kind of fun. It's just a little, in it's industrial area. Everything over in this area is industrial stuff, so. Um, but it had the little, you know, I had to build in the little station part and all that and just went ahead and built the line. And uh, it's doing pretty good. I mean, it, the, the numbers on the trains are kind of wonky because these trains are three cars. And I don't know why it says 1,494 people for capacity. It's really not. Um, but I'm running four trains on that line. That's kind of cool. They're, they're doing well. Anyway, so we continue down the Kehin Tohoku line, and then we have Shin Koyasu, Higashi Kanagawa Station, and then Yokohama Station. And I've got provisions there to continue on, although I've put, like, this depot here for the um, uh, Yokosuka line. I believe this is Yokosuka line. Is that the Okasuka line? Let me look at my lines. Bright. Yeah. Uh, it's the... Wait, is that the Yokohama line? That's the Yokohama line. Okay, Yoka, Yokosuka line is different. Um, but the Yokohama line ag technically ends at Higashi Kanagawa Station. But and then it's continued through service on the Kahin Tohoku line to Yokohama Station and beyond. So it technically ends here. But then it runs its own little thing up here, and then it goes to Uguchi Station... And then it comes around over here to Kakuna Station, and then there's a there's another little track piece under there that I threw in for reference. See, if you look at this like Google Maps stuff here, you can see where the trains and the stations would be, but they're all taken out. You can but but you can make out if you're looking closely like gaps and stuff. Like this train line would run up through here and up through here and keep going up through. Um, is that the Nambu line? I don't think it's the Nambu. I think Nambu's further over that way. And then we, anyway, we're connecting to Shin Yokohama Station. And the reason why this is significant is, first off, it allowed me to build a few stations on the Yokohama line. Second, this is a Shinkansen station. So this is where the bullet trains come through. After they leave Tokyo Station southbound, so this is Japan Rail Central and West, um, which is mostly the uh, N700 model Shinkansens now. It used to be 100s, 300s, 500s. Then it was 700s, which is, looks like a duck-billed platypus. Uh, and then the N700s, which looks like a more stylish and kind of harsher lines duckbill platypus. Uh, anyway, so they run to Shinagawa Station, which is here, right? Here. There. And then a, they make the sprint down here to uh, Shin Yokohama. So. I, I've got to build that line, and it's elevated, it's uh, double track viaduct. I think it runs basically up this way, and it makes a couple of curves somewhere, and then it, it eventually gets up here, I don't know. I, I'm using Google Earth uh, to help find this stuff. And then it comes bending in right around here-ish. And then it cuts in and meets in with the main line, and then it goes from there. So, cool stuff there. Now, this purple line is, technically, it's the Tokyo Monorail. And I took a couple of liberties with it here at Haneda Airport. There's actually a station here. This is under the uh, Terminal 3. Um, and then there's a little station here, and there's another station here serving Terminals 1 and 2. I don't know why I put Haneda Airport Terminal 2. It should be Terminal 1 and 2. Anyway, I, I put Terminal 2 because I wasn't going to extend it, but if I look at it, the catchment area encompasses most of the airport. If I turn on the, um, the purple thing here, so, you know, it, catch, it catches a lot of people. So I'm not going to build another station. There's no need to. Let me turn that back off. Anyway, so um, if I go to, oh, I'm on it. Tracks, I can click on this, and then airport Terminal 1 and 2. I'm going to change that. One. Done. Cool. Very good. So, um, anyway, let me know if you have any questions about the game. It's a lot of fun. It gives you the whole world to play with. It's just, I'm building in Japan. I mean, if I zoom out, I, you, you can just keep zooming out. <laughs> you know? 
I mean, there's the whole world to play with. You want? I don't know if you could build something in, here in Antarctica, but there's not going to be any people to connect together in Antarctica. You want to build Australia? You can. You want to build uh, India? You can. You want to build Europe or the Middle East or South America or you know, whatever you want to build, you can build it. It's super cool like that. So, I don't know why Jacksonville is so significant. That's not a very big city. Come on. Boise. Oh, really? So we got New York, Los Angeles, Jacksonville, and Boise representing the USA. Terrific. You could build a train line over here on Fa. You know, whatever. <laughs> of course, those of you who've been watching my recent series about um, War on the Seas will know what this area is. This is the uh, Solomon Islands. Uh, this is Espirito Santo. There's Port Moresby, and uh, here's New Britain, here's New Ireland. Uh, Rabal's right here, and Guadalcanal is right here. And Tulagi's right here. And this is the island I always fart up the pronounce, uh, pronunciation of. So, yeah, you can see all that. You can build railroads there if you want. We're building in Japan, though, because why? Because I love Japan. They have the coolest train system in the world. All right, so uh, we've got the uh, Kaihin Tohoku line, which now we're also running the Ueno Tokyo line. Uh, which parallels it, but it's a limited stop, so only like four stops. Uh, let's see, to, uh, it stops in Tokyo. All right, let's see, I think it makes a stop in Shimbashi. Does it? Yes, it stops in Shimbashi Station. Wait, does it? Yes, one, two, three. So Yamanote Line, Keihin Tohoku Line, um, Ueno Tokyo Line. Uh, and then it stops in Shinagawa, and then it skips down to like Kawasaki. Which I think is here. Yeah, it stops in Kawasaki and then it stops in uh, Yokohama. So it, it, it's really more of an express line. It makes lots of money. Lots of money. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, so the purple line here that I've taken some liberties with, they don't have monorail in the game. They have trams, but they have monorail. And it's technically a monorail. But I built it either underground, which is correct and I built it along the route of the monorail or um, so the dash lines are underground and the little triangle etch lines that's viaduct so that's above ground elevated um, whereas over here you'll see a part that doesn't have either and that's just on the ground All right so um, so yeah part of the issue here is I wanted to capture Haneda Airport However, Japan Rail does not run, to, I mean, look, you've got, oh, wait, we're right here. Like, here's Kamata Station. They do not have a rail line branching off, or even a subway branching off from Kamata Station to Haneda Airport, which is getting busier and busier. They're doing more to build it out and, and bring more people into the area. This is the inner uh, airport to Tokyo. It's more of a domestic airport as opposed to Narita, which Narita Airport is way the hell out here somewhere. Is that it right there? Maybe? No? No, not so much. Way the hell out. Where is Narita Airport? Oh, there it is. Wait, no, that's not it. Uh, anyway, it's way out here somewhere. This might be it. The space now. It would be on the map. Huh. It's hard to find. I mean, it's literally out in the sticks. Oh, there it is. Marine Airport. I mean, look how far away that is. It's there. Central Tokyo. Here's Narita Airport. Central Tokyo is here. Haneda is here. Okay? <laughs> so they built their new international airport a bazillion miles away. And what you do is you ride um, the Narita Express uh, train into Tokyo Station and it takes I think about an hour to get there but it's a nice ride and then there's another like local train and then there's a private train so they make more stops the NEX makes only like eight or ten stops along the 60 mile route or 50 mile 40 mile route whatever it's a long ass way um, so yeah that's uh, eventually we may build out to Narita uh, across the map here so, uh, damn it, I keep getting sidetracked on this. Squirrel! Uh, so this is the uh, the monorail system. It actually uh, 
connects to Japan Rail at Hamamatsu Sucho Station, which means these trains, which I'm running E231s, um, actually carrying quite a bit of packs. So they're, they're moving people because it is coming from an area that's not covered by the other stations. I mean, if you look at their catchment areas there, the bubbles. It kind of gets away from the beaten path a, a bit here. But at the same time, uh, you know, there, there's people moving on that line. Because you've got some gaps, like I'm sure there's a subway that cuts through here or maybe a private line or something. All right, so, but there's a private line, and that's the uh, Kaikyu um, Airport line. And this is, so this is the station where it connects into the main line. The Kaikyu line runs from Shinagawa, which is here, down to Yokohama, and then I think beyond. So it's a, it's a long line, but it's a private line. Japan Rail was built by the government of Japan, and now it's been um, privatized. It's been privatized for like 30 years, 20 years or so. Uh, and there's Japan Rail East, which is Tokyo and points north. And then there's Japan Central, there's Japan uh, West, there's Japan Shikoku, Japan Kyushu, Rail Kyushu, that's for each of the main islands, big islands. Um, but then mixed in are these private lines. So these guys, I don't know, if they bought an old line, bought old right of ways, have built really nice new stations. This is a really nice new station here at uh, Kaikyu uh, Kamata. But this is the, the line that it runs out to the airport. Now, it interchanges here at Tenkubashi Station with the uh, monorail. And they both serve under Haneda Airport Terminal 3 and Terminal 1 and 2. So technically, I don't need this line. I built it in there just for reference, more or less. Um, but if you look at it, excuse me, you'll see how this runs. It runs right down this road. I mean, it parallels it all the way down here, shoots across the river here, and then it runs down through this space. It is straight as an arrow almost down through here. And then it makes a few little tweaks, and then it joins in, and it gets close here at one point. And they have a, a meeting of the minds here. Uh, yeah, and then they run, again, parallel. And then it joins in right here. So this area right here, you see I, I extended that out. And they, yeah, it runs up through this gap. And then it runs through here, and then it runs through here, and it runs, I mean, it's just run, run, run like a constipated wiener dog. So uh, that's kind of a cool line. And I'll probably, uh, in fact, I will eventually model it. I've already built this much of it. Uh, we've got another couple of private lines that come off of here, come out of station. Uh, Caillou lines or something like that. And I'll add on to those. So let's go up now to the north side. Um, the Chuo line runs out of Tokyo Station and cuts around this way. It goes into Shinjuku. And that was initially what I had built. And then I added on to the Chuo line because I wanted to get to Tachikawa. And I'll show you why. The Chuo Sobu line is the uh, limited, I mean, not the limited line, it's the local line. So the yellow Chuo Sobu trains stop at every station. Now, once you get out past Na Nakano Station, the Chuo line trains stop at every station too. They, they get limited when they get into Tokyo, past Shinjuku, uh, like I explained earlier. The Chuo Sobu line cuts across, goes through Shinjuku, runs up here to Ochanomizu Station, which is right here. And then it goes across to Akihabara Station and continues east. Ryogoku Station, this is where the sumo tournament is, sumo uh, arena. I went there to a uh, sumo tournament in the fall of 1992, the Akibasho. So we have a, excuse me, a fall festival here in Farmer's Branch, which is part, it's just down the street here in North Dallas. It's a, I mean, it's a suburb, but it's, it's a small area. Uh, called the Aki Matsuri, which is Aki is fall, F Matsuri is festival. Anyway, so the Aki Basho, the Basho is the tournament. Um, they have a spring Basho, a summer Basho, and a fall Basho. There's six major tournaments per year. So you have spring, summer, fall, and they're all at the Ryogoku. And then there's 
three more interspersed and they're in like Osaka Kyoto and one other city I guess I'd have to look it up I haven't checked anyway so we run the Sogu line out here Kanishio uh, Kanishio Kameido Hirai Station Shin Koiwa uh, Koiwa Station and then Ichikawa Station so we ran all the way out to Ichikawa and this line keeps going and going and going and going um, and then there's more um, you'll see these race courses around these are horse I think they're uh, horse racing courses uh, the Sobu line parallels this it actually goes at Ryogoku it goes underground and it turns and goes into uh, Tokyo Station and it's more of an express line this way whereas the Chuo line comes out of Tokyo Station and goes this way and it's an express line the Chuo Sobu line is not an express line um, but anyway, it runs out here to Funabashi, and then um, the Kaio line comes out here somewhere because somewhere out here, and damn if I still haven't found it, but it's here somewhere. <clears throat> Although I'll probably find it now and look like a doofus for not having found it sooner. Um, is Tokyo Disneyland? <clears throat> So, Tokyo Disneyland's out here somewhere. There's Chiba, <coughs> Chio, excuse me. It may be further around here. Heck if I know where it is. I went there when I was in Japan. It was cool. Anyway, all right, so back to the deal. Uh, here's a little private line, uh, the Tobu uh, Kamado line. I want to run one train on this line. And look, it's got 137 to 470 packs on the train. <laughs> and it, this is, and it, now I think there's one more stop that I didn't model that's like right here, or maybe it's right here. But there were just too many stations put together that I wasn't going to deal with. So uh, anyway, so I modeled that little line, and then let's see, the Yamanote, the Yamanote line comes up here. All right, so I've got this set up to branch off for the Yamanote line to continue. I've got a depot here that I don't think I need there. Let's just, I'm going to leave it there, though. This is a place they park trains. I'm just not sure for what, because I've actually started doing some research on this <laughs> and looking up the individual lines and finding out where their actual um, maintenance terminals are. All right, so we go west on the Chuo line. And through each of these stations and all, yada, 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 Kichiyoji Station, Mitaka Station, this is a pretty major stop along the way. And when the express line's running on the Chuo line, like, it uses one platform, and, like, the other Chuo line trains will duck out of the way, and then it'll keep going. So, um, this is where I've got the Chuo line um, depot and the Sogu line depot right here. Uh, because A, there's a depot there, and B, it's convenient. Mitaka Station, that's where one of the Chuo line uh, depots is. The other one is way further west. So we go to uh, Musashi Sakai, and then there's a, a line that turns off here. So I've modeled part of that for future use. Higashi Koganai. Now, if you see one of these little things right here, this is a driving training school. That's what that is. Toyota owns a bunch of them. So it's driver training school. In Japan, not a lot of people have their driver's license, in part because it's extremely expensive. Um, when I was there, and I was there from 90 to 93, it was like $1,800 to get your, to take the test. And most people failed the test one, two, and sometimes three times, all right? So anyway, they've got driving schools. Um, and people have cars, but the trains are just so prevalent. They do, you know, everything. All right, so here I've got another depot. Ah, it might be my true line. I don't know. There's a depot there. Uh, here's Kokumbunji Station, and I've got the um, another private line running in here. And this is the Tobu Kokumbunji line. Tobu, okay, Tobu Kamado. Oh, Cebu Kokumbunji line. Okay, so this is Cebu. Cebu has a bunch of lines up in this area. So we're getting out in the sticks. There's the main line, and then you've got branches that 
go out in the sticks. And Cebu is a private company. Uh, I, I don't know if you say they, they work in partnership with Japan Rail, uh, but they have a whole bunch of um, railways out in this area here. So uh, you'll see this uh, Higashi Murayama, Higashi Murayama station is actually huge. I mean, it's really impressive. And I think they may be building it. It's located on the ground. Uh, it's a grade level. They may be building it up to elevate it. I can't tell. There's construction going on there. And at the north end, it looks like they may be setting up to basically raise the whole station up. And it's really nice looking anyway. Part of what I was going to do today was try to set up my um, web browser so you guys could see it. So if I kick over to the map, you can see it. And uh, that way you know what I'm talking about and see what I'm looking at. But I bought back and forth between this and um, Google Maps so that you know I can see what I'm trying to lay the tracks prototypically and everything. So that guy's coming in. Let's see. And it's only three car units. And strangely, yes, it is a green. The line color is green, but the trains are Cebu yellow. He's got 125 packs going to Kokumbunji Station. And they're happy. That's good. Yay. So that's cool stuff. And that's a prototypical train, Cebu 2000. So it's prototypical train, prototypical color. And the track's prototypical. So they're doing that little wonky turnaround. It's a little crazy, but whatever. So that's, um, that's the Cebu... Kokumbunji line. So we continue west, and then here's Nishin, Nishi. You know what? I did Nissan. I did Nishin. I, I know it's Nissan, but I was thinking about the cup of soup stuff. Oh man, these trains are longer than the station. Which is really not correct because this train, if I look at the um, information on it, it's 200 meters long because each car is like 20 meters, um, but the stations are like 250 meters long. So I mean, technically that's here to here. So you know, whatever. I, I may have goofed in making them shorter, thinking about you know the total length from here to here is 200, 250 meters, but the train length along the platform is really what I should have thought of and I didn't do that but oh well I'm not going to rebuild them now they're fine but you can see that Chua Line train is, is good size and let's click on it again so we got 222 of 1600 passengers um, and we'll come back and follow another one we're going to finish the, the line tour here then this is the um, Musashino line that runs underneath here and it runs up and down and then there's Kunitachi station and then we get into Tachikawa Station. Hooray! Uh, I've transferred through Tachikawa Station, which is really nice. It's pretty good size for being out where it is. Uh, now, I've got the um, Nambu Line, which starts here at Tachikawa Station and actually winds up in Yokohama. So, it's going from here, kind of, you see where it kind of runs, it's kind of running. And then somehow it connects where does it connect over here at Kawa, Kawasaki station so I suspect it comes down through here somewhere and then comes in here and then there's an extension that goes this way but then I think it has through service to oh no it does terminate at Kawasaki station so it goes from here here to there it connects those two areas together so eventually I'll build that out. But I've only built like four stops on it, five stops. Um, and I really I didn't need to build Nishin Kunitachi because, it, um, it, again, it, it puts a damper on the catchment area of other stations. But I did. I mean, once we get off the main line, then it's not so bad. And people are not happy at Yano Station. That's not good. All right, so why did I go all the way out to Tachikawa Station? Well, because I spent time with my airplane at Yokota Air Base, which is here. And to get to Yokota Air Base, you take the Chuo Line out of Tokyo to Tachikawa Station, and you jump on the Ome Line. And you go up through one, two, three, 
Akishima is uh, relevant because one time they billeted us in the Aki SNS Moritown Akishima Hotel, which I think was located right here ish, somewhere in here. That was nice. There was a real nice sushi bar over here, too. Uh, so, yeah, you come up here to Fusa Station, and that's what serves Yokota Air Base. You take, the, take a taxi, and, 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 and there's a little. I don't think the station's there, is it? Yeah, actually, I think it is. There's another little line that comes right down through here, because again, you can see the gaps and the roads and what have you. And then there's Yokota Air Base, home of C 130s. Hooray. So, there's all that good stuff. And so, um, let's jump on board. Chua Line 011. 352 of uh, 1,600 passengers. We're going to kick the pace up here a little bit. We're going to watch him. Not that close, though, because we don't want to get sick. So, he'll be making his stops here, and you'll see the red number is people getting off, green people getting on. So, we just added some people. We're 369 people. You're going to get a feeling for how busy. And, and this is. These trains run in Tokyo on a weekday every 90 seconds. They're 16 cars long. And they're packed full of people. Literally packed full of people. Um, so you see now we're almost a 500 people out of 1,600. And then we'll go to Honcho, and it's just going to go up. You're going to get a few people getting off, but more people are getting on. There we were, plus 24. That was not a big deal, but now we're almost at 500. This should be about where the numbers really start to climb. Okay, we pick up a few more. 518, come on. You guys are making me look bad here. Oh, now we're getting close to Mitaka Station. Okay. And we'll have some people get off of Mitaka, but then really... I think it picks up. I think it picks up. Is this? A, oh, it's a Sunday. No wonder. Crap on a stick. I'm trying to give you an example of stuff. There, it's Sunday night, too. Not that many people going to Tokyo, so I'm going to go warp speed here. Unfortunately, this is fast as it goes, and you lose the visual. But we'll go fast, and we'll get to, um, like, 6 a.m. So we go through our slow time. We have no trains running from, like, 1.30 to almost 5 a.m. Okay, here we go. Now the trains are lining up to deploy and do their do their thing. So here's here's our train. Oh, whoa, 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 slow down, slow your roll. All right, so we'll do this again. We'll do it a little faster speed. All right, so now he's got 245, and it's 6.30 on Monday morning. So he's going to stop in Mission Kokumbunji, and actually more people got off than got on. Here you see 84 getting on, 214 getting off of this train. So now they're going to transfer to this train. Well, some of them want. Ah, here we go. We got some transfers. So we're coming along. Do, 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 do. These people generally are not happy. There's like 80 minutes worth of wait time, and it, the the catchment area is like 4,285 people, which eh, I think it's kind of hinky. All right, we're up to 322 people. Sashi Sakai Station. There we add some more. All right, we're almost to 400. See the Chuo Sogu line train. He's waiting. These do not run on the same tracks, though. 382, we're in the Kichioji Station. Once I extended the, the um, Sobu Line trains out here, or wait, I think I extended Sobu Line's trains first, and then I extended the Chuo Line trains out. Um, the loads start, because the trains were filling up. There we go, now we're talking, there's almost 100 plus added. So we're at 561, we're at basically one third capacity right now. And now we're at plus 60. This train looks like it's full coming outbound. Can't. Pew. Nope. 
Oh, nuts. I didn't get... Yep, it's full. Coming outbound, it's full. All right, now we're at 770. Nakano, a Nakano station. Yep, see, we're getting plus 50 or 60 now. And then we're into Higashi Nakano. And then a lot of these people are going to Shinjuku. So 375 are going to Shinjuku. And then uh, 212 to Kanda Station, where they will change to the Yamanote or Kehen Tohoku line. 122 are going to Ochanomizu Station. Um, now there's 743 people, right? So not a lot are going to actually, actually going to Tokyo Station. And again, the yellow trains, the Chuosobu line, those are the local trains. So you'll see that one stopped at Sendagaya, and that one stopped at Shinanomachi. Okay. But the Chuo train is going to continue here to Yotsuya Station, dump off 122 people, and then we'll see what they pick up. And basically, it was an even trade. Oh, and then we're in the positive now. 130. All right, so we're plus eight people. Uh, with even more people going to Kanda Station. And now we're coming to Itabashi Station. Now, fun fact here, um, let me put the pause on. This is when my last trip with my buddy Steven and I went over. We stayed at the um, Tokyo Grand Palace Hotel. I think it's like right here or right here. Yeah, we stayed at one of these. There's a subway line that's one stop to Itabashi Station. It runs under the road here. And then we get on the train at Itabashi Station and ride it over. Suitabashi Station, which is where Tokyo Dome is in Tokyo Dome City, which is an amusement park. Really cool. And then, um, uh, and then we walked. Uh, Fred and um, Stephen walked one side. I think I walked the other. And we walked all along here to Ochanomizu Station. Then we walked to Nakihabara. I stopped and got some Kentucky Fried Chicken, which doesn't taste like American KFC because they make it with like the um, they all make it with the, the Colonel's way. But it's still, I mean, it's still good, but not the same. And we walk in. Akihabara is like the electronics capital capital of the world. So this is uh, Akihabara is electric town. All right. All right. So back to uh, our train. Here we are. And we're gonna do. And we're gonna bypass Suidobashi Station, and come into Ochanomizu Station and make a stop. You see the speeds indicated here. And we just dumped off a bunch of people. And we picked up more people going to Conda Station. So we got 500 people out to get off the train here at Conda Station. This is our big interchange station here for the north side of Tokyo, really. Because you have the Chuo line people transferring to the Kehen Tohoku and the Yamanote line. And then people transferring to and from the Ginza line. So the four major lines I currently have built in Tokyo are right there. And then anybody that wants to transfer off the Sobu line can transfer to the Yamanote or Kehen Tohoku lines at um, Akihabara. So, all right, so now we're upbound with people. And there's 400 packs, 800 packs. So now we're half full. Okay, now we're almost 1,000. Which seems weird, this early in the day, you've got all these people wanting to go out of the city. <laughs> now we got almost 1,200 people. That's a lot. A few more jumping on there. And I don't charge a crap ton for my rates on these. Um, it's a dollar plus 50 cents per kilometer. And you see now it's a five kilometer trip. So basically they get charged based on um, you know, how far they ride. And we're going to drop in here to Yotsuya Station. And a bunch more people got on. Some people got off too. More people are getting on. And they're heading out. Where are they going? Kokumbunji. There's going to be a Shinjuku. Okay, a bunch are going to Shinjuku. And then a bunch are going to Tachikawa. So that there's 500 between those two. So now we pull in Shinjuku and dump those people off. But then I think we're going to load up. And we're full. Holy crap. <laughs> it's amazing. So that little red notice that just popped up, it said time for stop 
too low or the train is full. The train's full. It's got 1,600 people on it. So, sorry. <laughs> now, some of these people, we don't stop at all these stations, right? So now you'll see some of them get off because they'll transfer to the Sogu line for the local stops. Oh, you know what? We do actually stop at all these stations now. I forgot about that. This is not an express anymore. Now it's a local. And Asagaya. So, you see there's lots of people. And we're gradually whittling away <laughs> at the numbers of people riding the train. But we have $1.5 billion to spend and play with, and we're going to do that um, probably next episode. I'll, I'm going to do some more work on, on things because I want to be able to pull up. I, just when I toggle my screen with Alt-T and I switch over to the uh, map or I switch over to line information, I want you guys to be able to see what it is that I'm looking at. Um, then you'll better understand you know, some of the stuff and what have you coming to Mitaka Station. We're still 1,100 people. Lots of people. Now the Chuo line, you saw that guy, or the Sobu line just stopped. He stops at Mitaka Station. And I think I've got the speed limited. Either I have the speed limited or the trains are limited on their speed. And I've got to check on the uh, Sobu line, I may have the speed too fast. It'll let you set speed up to 120 kilometers per hour, but um, some of the lines restrict to like, or the train type restricts to 100 kilometers an hour. There's Kokumunji. And we still, we just picked up a lot of people out there. We still got a thousand people on board. And most of them are going to Tachikawa, which is pretty crazy. But what's interesting about this is, is they're going to Tachikawa. See, now we're dumping off at Kunitachi. And I don't know how many are transferring elsewhere. Let me see here. Hang on. If I can pause this before we get there. Because that'd just be an interesting bit of information. Um, let's. Uh, uh, uh. Go by destination. Ah, here we go. So a bunch of them are going up the line. All right. So now we'll, we'll resume the, the trip here. So a bunch are going up the Ome line. Because now we're in Tachikawa and all these stations are up the Ome line. What's going on here is a getting the timing figured out is really hinky on the deal, um, and it just it gets to be a pain because I have a, there's a delay between trains. So if I go to the lines, I look at the Chuo line. Like here's the schedule, and I look. I have an eight minute and three second interval between trains. Well, these there's three trains in Tachikawa Station now, and now. Train 011, which is the train we were riding with, just like here's train 10 arriving, they're coming in and they're getting hung up behind the previous train. So what I got to do is I'm going to unlock this so I can edit it. And I'm going to drop this down to, say, six minutes. Oops. That's not smart. Zero, zero, six. up and then turn this off just more information all right so now train 11 is coming in nobody's really happy anymore which sucks now they're all off and they're waiting to catch the next uh Ome line train which is coming in now so now we turn this click on this click on this now we'll see a whole lot of people get on so and 
you know, they're going to various stops, and then 62 are actually going all the way up to Fusa Station. Sweet. Anyway, um, so yeah, this, this delay here is killing me, because it's a long line, and just the deployment of trains and the speeds they run and all that. Figuring that out takes a little bit of guesswork and a little... So I could either take a couple of trains off the system right now, or I should add more on and cut the reduce the times even further. But now if you look at the line thing here, I've got all the colors over here and all that. You can see what they are. Like this is the, uh, the uh, Chuo line. So Kunitachi, you come in and you stop at Tachikawa Station E, retransfers to the Nambu line and transfers to Homing line. So it shows you the, the distance, the times. Um, here's a transfer to the Cebu Kokumbuji line. Mitaka has a transfer to Chuo Sobu and then these guys because they parallel each other. And then here you transfer the Yamanote line and Shinjuku, that'll change because there will be the Shonan Shinjuku line and um, uh, the Yokohama line maybe goes to Shinjuku. I don't know. There's there's a couple. There's another Tokaido line. The Yokohama Tokaido line. I don't know. There's several lines in, Tokyo, in Shinjuku Station, so you'll see this eventually built out. Here, Kanda Station, Tokyo Station, and then, uh, yeah, Kanda Station and Tokyo Station, you see multiple transfers. So Kanda, you can transfer to the Ginza Metro, Kehin Tohoku line, and the Yamanote line. In Tokyo, you can transfer to Kehin Tohoku, Ueno Tokyo, and the Yamanote line. And this is going to grow eventually, too, to include uh, the Tokaido line, um, the Ueno Tokyo line. Wait, it is there. Ueno Tokyo line is there. Tokaido line. There's another one. And then there is um, the Shinkansen lines. Plus, there's the Marinochi subway. There's the Keio line. Utsunomiya line, which doesn't go through the same platforms it used to with the Keio line. Uh, and what have you. So, be adding that stuff in as well. Anyway, so that's uh, a fun look, I think, at our little project here in NIMBY Rails. We're building the Tokyo Rail System. So if you guys have any questions, put those in the uh, uh, comment section below. It's fascinating stuff. They move millions of people a day with this system. And this is nothing. What I've got built so far is nothing of it. I mean, if I pull up the... Um, Counting, you'll see now this is Sunday, June 27th. We're on Monday, June 28th. Let's drop back to last week, go back to Friday. We made 17, almost 18 million dollars. We had to issue a bunch of refunds and compensation for people that were late and waiting, and that's all timing stuff on my part. I've got and stuff like that where the trains are full. I got to run more trains, that's just the long and the short of it. Um, so that's, that's what it looks like. I mean, on the weekend it falls off. And I did some construction. And I did more construction on Sunday. That's where I built the, uh, these two lines down here. The airport line and the uh, Tokyo monorail. But now we have service to the airport, which is good. So, uh, so I'm going to keep working on that. And, uh, you know, we'll show you guys along the way, bring you on to see some of the construction stuff that we do. Um, some of it's easy, but again, the key is, like, I could sit here and go, oh, okay, I'm gonna bebop this this track here. We're gonna use the build, it's on the ground level, and we're gonna just build it up through the gaps here because we can clearly see where the gaps are. What I'm trying to do is avoid this. I don't care for that too much because technically the tracks are going underneath whatever that, you know, dory, highway, whatever it is. They're going under it. So what I'll tend to do in this situation is build um, ground level up kind of close to about here-ish. And then we'll do a tunnel, which doesn't make it disappear, but makes it, I, I think it just makes it look more appropriate. And then we do that. Boom. And then we're back up 
to ground level and then we're continuing on this direction so then you lay your tracks out like that and then after you know if you need to move it you can just click on it and move it around and extend it make it shorter or longer whatever so but anyway this line is clearly going to go up through this gap here and then this road see there's a gap there it just it shoots straight up through here and I think this is the Nambu line nope not that and it's just going to keep I mean it's some of these lines are so old the neighborhoods were built around them clearly it just keeps going keeps going keeps going and all the way up so and then when you've got your your deal built the way you want it this is just a blueprint and it's going to tell you how much it'll cost and what you're building ground track tunnel total all that click build all blueprints and there's a uh, master idiot alert uh, are you sure you want to do this and you're committing to it and you click that boom it's built so that's the way it works cool stuff all right guys i hope you enjoyed this little tour of tokyo the tokyo rail system here on nimby rails and uh maybe even enjoyed the uh, ambient sound in the background nobody said it was too loud or anything so i'm i'm guessing that it was okay it sounds good to me i guess i'll have to go back and watch the video and see if it's driving me nuts then i apologize but nobody said anything in chat so um but i hope you enjoyed the show and uh make sure to uh like share and subscribe turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video and uh, oh now i think the sound has stopped if i hit this paste reference there it's back so i'm going to turn it down just a little bit there um follow us on twitch at a underscore train underscore games on discord at a train space games join us there uh join the discussion see my steam library so you can make game requests uh discuss this game and others I uh, see my Tower 3D Pro library for requests with that. And your donations are greatly appreciated at paypal.me slash ATrain Games. It's paypal.me slash ATrain Games. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. Thanks for being here. I'm ATrain. It's over. And I'm out. <laughs>